to create the geometry, we'll first create a sketch and then um, an area from the sketch. And the area, or um, what Ansys calls a 2D surface body, is what we will uh, mesh and apply boundary conditions to. So first we need to specify that the geometry we are going to create is 2D. So right click on geometry, properties, I'll expand this and set analysis type to 2D. And it turns out you have to do this right at the start. You cannot switch from 3D to 2D midway through. So you'll have to wipe out everything and restart if you forget to do this. So dismiss that, properties of geometry, and start the geometry engine by double clicking on geometry, which will start design modeler, which is what the geometry engine is called. We'll create the geometry in inches. So select that and click OK. And we'll create a 2D geometry on the XY plane. So in the tree, click on XY plane um, and look at the plane that you are going to sketch. And you might see this, uh, the ruler. And for now, it might, uh, let's keep it and we'll turn it off later um, if just to have more screen area. So, uh, highlight XY plane and then let's create our sketch. So, go into the sketching tab and we'll use polyline. So, under the draw tool box, select polyline. Hover around the origin until you see the P. That means your cursor is coincident with the point at the origin. And then drag it to the right. And you should see the H, which means um, the line is horizontal. And C, which um, means that the line is, the, the end is coincident with the, with something, in this case, the horizontal axis. So that's good. Um, and release it release the left mouse button or rather click and then um, draw a shape like this. You should see the V and the H's for vertical and horizontal. Vertical, horizontal and C, you need both. And then you should see V and P here and instead of left clicking now at the end right click and say closed end so that'll give you a closed curve and we need to add a fillet here so go into the modify toolbox select fillet and it says select first 2d edge uh, near fillet location. So I'll select that puppy and then it says select second 2D edge. So I'll select that puppy and it puts in the fillet. Let's go in and add the dimensions. So I'll go into the dimensions toolbox and I'll add a dimension for that length. I'll add a dimension for um, that. I'll add in a dimension for that vertical edge, this vertical edge, and then I need to add in a dimension for the fillet radius, and so I need to select, under dimensions, I need to select radius, and then click on the fillet and put in a dimension. <clears throat> and so then I will go in and um, specify the right values. And to do that, it's convenient to just see the values in the drawing. So I'll go under display uh, in the dimensions toolbox, select that, and turn off name, which activates values. So you see the values. And 
the values can be um, deduced from the problem specification. And so you have the diameter, you have this distance, and you have the fillet radius. And it turns out this length and this length are arbitrary. They need to be long enough so that you're away from the stress concentration. So first, let's uh, put in that dimension. So that is 4. Then let's put in um, H2, which is that dimension. That turns out to be 1 inch. 1 and enter. The fillet radius, if you look at the problem specification, it's 1 inch. So the fillet radius. So I'll put in 1 for that. Um, and the vertical distance V3, I'll put um, that's so that I'm free to select. So I will set that to be 8 and V4, I'll set it to be 4. They just need to be long enough um, so that you get uniform stresses at the ends. And I'll do zoom to fit. And here I can turn off the ruler if I choose to. So I can go to view and turn off the ruler. Okay, so I have my drawing that looks right. And so I have the sketch and now I need to create the area um, which I will then mesh and apply boundary conditions to. So to do that, I will do concept, surfaces from sketches. Okay, I can click anywhere on the sketch and apply. So now um, Ansys knows that it needs to create the area from the sketch, but it hasn't done it. So let's make it do it by clicking on generate. So that gives me the area that I need. Oh, this, um, if you look under the tree, Ansys calls it surface body. I think of it as area. And uh, I can turn off the sketch, and so I just see the area. So I'll save the project. And then I can close out of Design Modeler and go back to the project page by clicking on this yellow icon. Okay, so you should see a tick under geometry, which means we can proceed to the next step, i.e. create the mesh.